Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starfield console mod video for Xbox. This is part 7 of the series and so far we've covered some great mods. A big shout out to all the new subscribers to the channel, over 2000 in the last few days, and I'll be making some more mod videos plus its Elden Ring DLC later this week. Today we have 10 more mods to go over though, including some of our first look at higher resolution textures and plenty more. Let's take a look. High res eyes, furniture, ads and artifacts. This is a retexture of a significant portion of the common furniture in game, ads and billboards, eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows and artifacts as well. There is another mod that retextures water but it's not available just yet. The original textures were nearly all 1K with a few of them just 512 megabytes resolution but now there is a mixture of 4K and 2K on PC with all Xbox textures being 2K which is still twice as good as it was before. I'm sure in the future we'll have one mod that adds loads of different textures just all as one mod, but for now we have a bunch of mods that will add in higher resolutions for eyes, furniture, ads, and artifacts. PAB Pilot Assist Bot. He is a rogue security bot that has shown up in the lodge with a yearning for the stars and the capacity to crew your ship. PAB is short for Pilot Assist Bot, and is a new crew member who can be found pacing the upper halls of the lodge and is itching to join your adventures across the stars. He is able to boost your aeronautics fusion by one rank, shield systems by two ranks, and starship engineering by four ranks, and is free to pick up, making him an excellent early addition to your crew, and unfortunately he cannot follow you around, he is only there to be assigned to your ship or outpost. Better NPCs. NPCs will now act more like people and less like one-dimensional characters in the game where they only exist for your benefit. NPCs now won't pay attention to you unless they're closer. They'll wait longer for you to input while you're dialogue with them. They will move their head a little more during conversations. They won't stand around waiting for you. NPCs will engage in chatter with each other more often. You should see more groups standing around. Greetings won't trigger until you're a little closer. NPCs will spend longer talking to each other as well. Blinking more like humans instead of actual NPCs, they'll try to move around you to avoid colliding with you. NPCs except security and followers will back away from you if they bump into you. In combat, enemies will be more likely to taunt you or communicate with each other. There is now 3-5 to five minutes before an NPC comments on your actions or knocking things over instead of 20 seconds. They don't have to be as close to a dead body in order to react to it. They'll try to maintain eye contact when they're speaking to you. They will show you more emotion when speaking as well. Less pausing between sentences. Guards are more observant. After having a conversation, NPCs will try to find someone different to talk to. Increased time before guards tell you to stop loitering. Bar patrons will sit around a bit longer. And AI events can trigger when you're a little further away. And I really like this mod as the NPCs just go around doing their regular lives. And it is true, they do kind of feel like they were all just staring at the character when the mod is not installed. Laredo M245 ACP Pistol. A relic from the 13th century, the Laredo M2 is a 45 ACP pistol that served the Freestar Collective as their main sidearm throughout the Aquila and Cheyenne expansions. The large calibre is excellent for dealing with pirates and Ashta. The M2 is fictitious CZ75-ish knockoff with some other influences and the model is great and the textures super fitting with Laredo theme. They've added appropriate markings and did some tweaks and that was pretty much it. The mod is user and update friendly so has no conflicts with other mods and you have to get the gun in Laredo Firearms in Aquila City and you'll have to steal it from the locked room upstairs. A good mod to go with this is one handed pistol animations. This changes the pistol animations in third person. The animations used are the ones pirates for example the Crimson Fleet use in game. No new animations have been added, all animations used in this mod are extracted from the base game. The player simply just used a different animation than NPCs and that has been replaced with this one. Sneaking and jetpack animations will stay the same though and you'll still use both hands. The only issue I had with this mod is your other arm moves a bit weird and there is a little bit of clipping with longer sleeves, but I'm sure that will be improved, otherwise I really like this mod. Audrey's hair bundle, this pack contains two hairs, or rather two hairs that replace existing hairs. The first is a long hairstyle that is based on the original creator's own, and another that is a messy bun. Both give your female characters a better look in the character creator. Custom Dynamic Weather Cycles. With this mod, all the biomes in the game have custom climates, so weather cycles will contain new variations. Some of these unique weather cycles will appear on planets you have never seen them on before, and also they've added a bigger list of weathers for the game to cycle through. 
Some unique weathers can have a lower rate of showing than others to keep it more controlled, so you'll be surprised when you see new weathers for the first time. The mod tries to keep it realistic, so there won't be snow in the desert for example, or other things which are ultra game immersion breaking. You can combine this mod with the better dynamic weather which I covered in a previous video for a better transition of weather cycles. Build and decorate anywhere and outpost build limit increase. Have you ever wanted to spruce up the lodge with some new decorations? Is Aquila City boring without a giant windmill in the centre of town? Want to add a bed and some workbenches somewhere and make it a new home? Then this is the mod for you. On the shelf with the small lamp stand in the lodge you'll find a mysterious box that contains a pair of rings. The ring of building and the ring of decoration. If you equip either ring a lever will appear behind you allowing you to enter the outpost building menu as if you'd planted an outpost beacon. If you equip the ring of decoration then the same thing will happen allowing you to decorate anywhere at any time. So if you want to decorate or build at any location you can simply equip the ring and unequip it without leaving the menu and your new activator will appear ready to use. Once you've entered the menu press B as usual to switch between build menus and essentially it works the exact same way. To go with this mod I've also installed outpost build limit which increases not only the amount of building outpost you can place down which is now unlimited essentially but it doubles the size of outpost areas in which you can build. So I really like these two mods, you can now build on the existing places like New Homestead, you can add additions to the outside of it, or you can go here at Neon where I've decorated the streets to add more stuff just to showcase. You can't build in the water under Neon for example, but pretty much anywhere else in the game you can now build whatever you like. And I really like this mod especially because the most frustrating thing about the vanilla games outpost building was that you couldn't build anything next to an existing location, even if it was just a small settlement on a planet, and I found that to be pretty annoying. But you can build anywhere you want now, and if you want to add an entire new section to Aquila City or Gagarin Landing, then you can do that with this mod. Vendors sell faction gear, adds faction clothing to vendors across the settled systems, expands the availability and makes possible to purchase the harder to acquire UC spacesuit variants, makes possible to purchase the ranger spacesuit and ranger gear as well. You will now be able to purchase gear that is otherwise unavailable or hard to acquire. Pretty much any vendor in game will now sell the stuff and the mod shouldn't conflict with any other vendor related mod or leveled list mods. Finally we have Massacre at Crete and Terrifying Terramorphs. A simple mod that updates the environmental visuals of the interior of the Crete research facility to better suit the supposed massacre that took place there. Also adds a couple of data slates to give you a much better lore into the final moments of the Xenomorphair scientists. So scratches, bloodstains, bones and more capture a more vivid aftermath of the horror that took place in the facility. To go with this mod, terrifying Terramorphs makes Terramorphs a lot more terrifying. Terramorphs will now mentally influence the player with their abilities. Terramorphs will now mentally dominate NPCs. There is now nowhere you can hide from them. Doors will no longer be able to stop these killing machines. They've increased the levels so they can provide a greater challenge, increased their health and damage as well, and increased the variation in sizes. So there's no longer anywhere you can outrun from these terrifying Terramorphs. Guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching this far. Leave a like and subscribe for more Starfield videos. And of course, as always, leave a comment on your favorite mods you're currently using. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Bye.